Yo, what's going on YouTube? Retrospective Dave here and welcome to another episode of Guided Laces. Today's segment features the Light Smoke Gray Air Jordan 1 and in this video I'm going to do my best to help you authenticate your kicks. Keep in mind, by no means am I an expert when it comes to authenticating shoes, but I am going to do my best to go over all of the details with the hopes of giving you a peace of mind that you got what you paid for. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe, and without further ado, let's get into the shoe. Alright folks, so the shoe you see on screen comes directly from Hibbit Sports. Shout out to my homie T for assisting me with this pair and making it possible for me to do this video for you guys. Uh, please give him a follow at sneakerheads 43 and before we get into the details of the shoe, let's take a look at the details of the box. And here's a look at the shoe box. Nothing new, nothing special, just your standard red and black Air Jordan 1 shoe box. Take the lid off. Inside you have this paper with two different textures on it. One side is going to be a wax feel and the other side has a dry feel to it. So wax on one side, dry texture on the other. You take the paper out. You do have your green and white quality control sticker. Nothing else inside of the box. Uh, underneath the box lid, you do have the red stamp here. I don't know if the color of the stamp matters like that. Um, like if yours is black, mine is red, I don't know. So in the comments, if you purchase your shoe from a retail store and your stamp is a different color than what you see on screen, please leave it in the comments. And flipping the box over, you do have a Nike stamp on the back. Keep in mind this is a stamp this is not a part of the box so this is a separate stamp the only stamp that's on the back side of the box and let's get to the label so the number is 19449462 those should be the same on your box as for the 948 uh that's for a size 12 so if you have a size 12 then 948 should be on your box if you have anything other other than a 12 those numbers will be different, but the uh, numbers that should be the same on everyone's box um, are 19449462 and the number 14 at the end. All right, the color code for this sneaker is white, black, light, smoke, gray. And if I direct your attention over here to the sizing area, right here I can feel a lot of debossing in this particular area right here. Debossing meaning that like the text is pressed down into the uh, tag just a bit or in to the label just a bit um, Over here on the other parts of the label. I don't feel as much debossing I can tell that there is a little bit there, but it's very subtle even around the QR code um, This is a US shoe So some people will have a Canadian shoe some people will have the Australian version and I'll get into that in a minute Because there are some tags inside of the shoe that may vary uh, due to the actual country's version of the shoe all right, folks, the moment you all been waiting for, here's a look at the Light Smoke Gray Air Jordan 1. Um, when I'm looking at Air Jordan 1s, I usually pay attention to the shape. This particular mold, if you take a ruler or I'm using a box cutter or a pen and you put it to the back of the shoe, it has this arch. So it's not perfectly aligned um, at the back. It has like a little arch to it. Also, if you turn it to the back, it has that signature Air Jordan hourglass shape so it gets wide at the top curves in gets better at the bottom uh it does have a little rock to it on the right shoe so if you tilt it to the right it has a subtle rock it doesn't shake much when you let it go um some shoe connoisseurs say that that's how you can authenticate a pair of air jordan ones because a fake pair would usually do like a lot of wobbling when you do that so if you just do the little tilt test um I don't know how much how true that is really um, when it comes to authenticating Air Jordan 1s but a lot of people have thrown that theory out there that if it rocks subtly to the right then it's authentic. Alright here's a detailed look at the suede. Uh, this type of suede I would call like a very short hair suede meaning that you won't get any brush strokes when you rub the suede. It looks pretty rough but it's actually soft. It's a decent suede but you do not get any brush strokes at all with this particular uh, length of suede. And also the leather panels are tumbled. Now I'm not going to get too much into the materials themselves because even authentic pairs vary from pair to pair in terms of the materials and how they look and the texture of them. So uh, some pairs may be more tumbled than others when it comes to the authentic ones. So uh, don't be thrown off or be alarmed if your shoes are more tumbled than someone else's or less tumble than someone else's. It just depends on how the shoe was treated in the factory. So, uh, but it's just a detailed look at the material itself. 
And here's a detailed look at the tongue tab. Now in certain lighting and from a certain distance, the tongue tab does look like a leather tongue tab and the Nike swoosh or the Nike Air label can look, uh, I wanna say like painted on like some of the other uh, shoes, just more in a matte finish instead of that gloss that you see on the court purples or the rookie of the years. But uh, this is a nylon tongue tab and uh, embroidery here. It's very stiff, it feels like they just spray this with some uh with some starch so it's extremely stiff on this particular shoe um but the threading is very neat there's hardly any gaps as you can see in the uh embroidery um so very neat but it's just a very stiff tongue tap all right folks here's a detailed look at the wings logo i know a lot of people pay attention to this part um as far as the j i've never noticed this but the j really isn't a J like that like how it how a normal J would just curve up at the end um, it's almost like a little line with just a little slant at the bottom I've never really noticed that but um, now I have seen that the R and the D usually connect on the Jordan wing let's see if I can bring it closer I don't know how far I can push this lens to see closer but I'm gonna try all right so I don't know if you can see that right there but the R and the D at the bottom usually connect with each other and also I want to direct your attention to the depth of this wings logo like so look how much depth it has it's very debossed meaning that it's pressed into the leather so you can definitely see it up here in the corners how pressed in it is so I think on like a fake pair it wouldn't be it wouldn't have that much depth to it it would be kind of like a surface level almost uh, on the wings logo but on this one you can really see the depth in it, especially if I turn it at an angle. Yeah, there's a lot of depth in this wing logo. So uh, those are just some key things that I found uh, when it comes to looking at a wings logo. Like even here, uh, just check out the depth there in the corner. All right, and here is the sizing tag for your viewing. So my production dates are January 8th through March 7th. Um, every shoe is not going to have the same production dates. So please don't get nervous if yours isn't the same as the ones that you see on screen. Uh, these will vary for sure. Um, and that's pretty much all with the label. I'll just leave it up for a little while so you can pause the video and do your own comparison at home with your shoes. But this is what the sizing tag looks like. Alright y'all, quick shot at the Nike Air logo that's on the insole. Uh, this is, it feels screen printed on in a sense it's not debossed in any way it doesn't have any depth to it at all it's very soft as well so after one wear i wouldn't be surprised if this came off immediately um so if you want to preserve this nike air logo on your insoles please use some type of clear tape or just tape over this so that when you are um, wearing your shoes your feet aren't rubbing the nike air logo off but uh, this is what the nike air logo looks like on the insole here's a quick look at the back of the insole it is like a light blue uh, with these lines it's the same on both insoles and here's also a look at the inside of the shoe this is what you'll see when you take the insoles out you do have these little holes inside of the shoe like this right here uh, the threading is taped down it's not glued down this time uh, you also have a hole up that way and it's pretty much the same on the other shoe you have like this cardboard type material you have the holes in the shoe tape threading all right one other thing i wanted to point out with the insoles so if you start from the bottom of the left insole and go up to the top you will see this little rigid section right here and it's the same on the right as well so your insoles should have these little pieces missing looks like some rodents have been chewing on them or something like that so if you start from the bottom this is the left insole it's going to be on the inside of the left foot and on the right it's going to be on the inside of the right foot all right folks last but not least here is a look at the shoe tree this is for a size 12 and when you flip it over you will see that die cut sock liner and i believe it's on the other one as well i don't know where it is oh here it is right here Bow should be the same on the other one die cut sock liner all right i forgot to mention this earlier but here's a shot at the lace bag these are the extra laces and the only extra laces that come with this particular shoe uh the laces fit very snug in the bag so it's not a lot of room 
it's very tight around the sides um, even uh, between the laces and the opening of the bag is really not that much space between it so this is what the lace bag looks like all right folks that will conclude today's episode of guided laces with the light smoke gray air jordan one thank you so much for tuning in feel free to like comment and subscribe um, after watching this video if you still have any concerns or questions about the pairs that you ordered from online uh, please feel free to reach out to me at uh, retrospective dave on instagram uh, i will respond to you as soon as i can so until next time folks stay fresh blessed and free of stress and i will see you all in the next video peace